What's up, y'all? I'm back. I'm back. Um, nobody's home, just me. Sitting up here watching um American, no X Factor. Okay, the it's the worst audition episodes, the worst auditions. I don't know. As you can hear in the background, okay? I don't own none of this, okay? I don't know if I'm supposed to say that, but I'm going to say it anyway. I don't own none of this. I'm just watching TV. I'm just watching X Factor. That's it, okay? Thank you. Just want to tell y'all that, all right? But, um, yeah, so it is, um, I'm alone again at home. Y'all, like I say, I am unemployed because of health issues due to health issues okay um yeah so uh, this is what i chose to do in my free time when i'm glad i did i'm glad i did honey i am in my room as y'all can see yeah i'm getting ready to do a whole makeover to my room my bedroom because my daughter is they did um, makeovers on their, and their rooms are bomb, fire. It looks so good. But for privacy purposes, reasons, I'm not going to show their rooms unless they say I can. But I don't think they want their rooms posted up on YouTube. So I'm going to respect that. But I am going to change out all of this. Um, I'm, I'm going to keep the same color theme, or we're going to call it still going to have the same colors, like black, red, and white, and gray. That's a, basically the color of my whole house. And, I mean, it is the color of my whole house. Um, I plan on redecorating my bathroom as well. Yep. Um, I don't know where I can go to get some real bathroom good bathroom decor i mean i'm pretty sure i can figure it out but how about you guys tell me tell me where your girl can go get some home good um uh, home uh decors for the bathroom and my bedroom too because um i pretty much know what i want to do as far as my bedroom go i already know like i already know what i want for my bedroom um i know i want an animal print quilt set you know um and then i want i want my bedroom to be animal print period you know so that's what i'm aiming for um that's you know what i'm going for in my bedroom is animal prints um something like in the line of this here not the tan i'm sure you know what animal print looks like but animal print but i want it to be a red quilt set red my daughter has this quilt set this is what she has this color in her room and then she has it mixed with a little bit of black and red you know so she's got like that color animal print quilt set with red satin um pillowcases black so pillowcases black curtains black rug her whole her room is just fire but I, I wish i could show you but she don't want it to be shown out so i'm not gonna do it but yeah so that's what i'm going for so if you guys can just tell me where i can go get some good deals because i'm always shopping at wally world slash you know the walmart I go to Target sometimes too, but I'm more in Walmart than anything. I stay in Walmart. I stay. I might as well just move up in there or get a job or something. So I'm in there all the time. And they really have some nice, pretty decent um, bedroom decor, house decor things in there. So, and I know I may go there and look, see what they got. But I don't plan on doing my room until probably October, November, somewhere around there. Yeah, because right now I'm working on a house. But I think I'm going to do my bathroom before my bedroom. Because I have a very small bathroom, so it's like, go get something real quick. I'm not going to spend too much money. I told you I am a budget-based over here okay i i i just you know hold on 
Do you think that you're capable of winning this contest? I'm sorry, I'm watching I'm X Factor. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down just so, you know. But I don't own it. I don't own it, okay? I don't own it. You know, copyrights on it. But yeah, so, um, yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm just in the mood. Of, I'm trying to get, you know, I really, to be, I'm be honest with y'all, at the end of the day, I really want to move. I'll be honest. I really want to move. Because where I'm at now, I was supposed to be in out of here like a year ago, year and a half ago. I was supposed to be gone. Like, I had found a house and everything, nice house, but it was just like things happen, you know, because I feel like everything happens for a reason. So, yeah, that was that. But um, I've been looking. I've been looking kind of, not as much as I was or were, whatever you want to call it, back in the, about a year ago, I was really looking. I was really, really looking, you know, and, um, but now, I don't know, like, I'm still trying to figure things out. Now, I was telling my, I was telling myself, you know, like, you know what, girl, just wait until after the, the, the holidays, wait till the winter till winter is over wait till the weather breaks so basically next year is what i've decided to do um to go back on the house hunting um kick you know i'm about to go back on that house hunting kick and start looking for a house okay um let me see. It's hard, though. It's really hard to find what you want, what you need, you know? It's just really hard. It's really hard. So, because um, I really need, like, a three-bedroom. As you, If you don't know, I am on Section 8. I am. I have a Section 8 voucher. Um, yes, I am on Section 8. Um, and I do... Uh, I have a three bedroom. I used to have a five bedroom section eight voucher. <laughs> Don't need more. It took that shit for me quick. I wouldn't want a five bed. I I seen the house though. A couple houses that were like five and six bedrooms. They were just like oh looking and run down looking. I'm like I don't want that. I don't want that. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. I, don't, I don't want that, honey. Because it was just like oh my god. And then the neighborhoods it was in. The houses were in the five and six bedroom house. Oh god no. Nope, no, 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 no. I'll just, I'm cool with the four bedroom, two or three, three to four bedroom. I'm good. Cause I've been seeing some really nice, cute little houses, you know, for what I'm able to pay. Um, My doctor is able to afford to pay. For, so, and really cute. So I'm going to find something, even if it's another half a double, I just need something bigger. You know, I need, I didn't some really huge, spacious, town uh um half a double duplex if you want to call it half a double because i'm in a half a double and um really nice yes i don't like the paint color here my landlord even though my landlord told me i can paint you feel me i'm not a painter you feel me i'm just not i don't know how to paint i barely know how to paint my damn nails let alone the damn whole house i do that shit damn you know so that's a no. That was a no for me. And then, um, of course, I could pay someone, yeah. But, again, I don't work. And my income is just enough, if you get what I'm saying, if that makes sense. It's just enough for me to do what I need to do in this house to take care and maintain this house. As far as bills and things you may need for the house. But as far as trying to take it further out, like paying for you know, um, stuff to get fixed or to paint around this. I can't do it. Plus, I plan to move. That's another reason, too. I plan to move. So, I don't want to invest too much in this house. I don't want to put too much into this house. I don't want to spend too much money repairing, like, not repairing things, but, like, fixing it up, you know? It's painting, paint. I don't want to do that for me to turn around and find something and move out. No, I'm not doing that. I'd rather wait, wait it out till I find something that I know for sure, without a shadow of a doubt, that I'm going to be there 
I mean, like, be there, be there. You feel me? I've only been in this place for, I mean, I've been here for a little minute. I ain't gonna lie. But I've been here for probably, like, over four years, maybe. Um, so, which that wasn't even supposed to be that like that. I wasn't even supposed to be here that long, really. But, um, you know, things happened. So, and when, of course, COVID at the time was doing this thing, you know, came in here and just, I don't even want to think about it, but that's what happened. So I had to take this place on the side of town that I didn't even want to move on. Okay. This is the West side and I do not like the West side. Now, granted, I have lived on the West side before, but that's been like many years ago. You feel me? Where I live at, it is dirty. It's a dirty area. It's a dirty looking area. And they really need to clean it up. I'm just going to, I'm just going to be, be real about it. It's dirty. It's dirty. Drugs. But you know, but I can say it has its pros and cons. Okay. It is dirty. You know, it is a drug um, area. Um, it's drug related, whatever you call it. People are, you know, be out here strung out for real. You see them walking through the neighborhood. You see them doing everything. But the thing about it is, I can truly say that the good thing about it is they don't bother anybody. You know, you see them walking. They, all they, they mind their business. They don't bother nobody. They don't knock on your door. Why? Let me, let me take that back. It was probably a few years back I had an incident where honey it was an African American man um, <laughs> that was making himself at home on my porch okay my front porch he made himself at home I'm gonna tell you what I mean by that honey I caught this man sitting on my porch you know how you Back in the days, how they used to wash their clothes out, hang it outside on the porch or hang on the line outside. That's what he was doing in my yard or my porch, rather. He was putting his clothes over my my banister like he was my dude, like he lived here. Like this was his place of residence, honey. He was kicking it and smoking cigarettes and all of that leaving the butts, the cigarette butts on my porch and just had his clothes hanging there like he at home. Like he paying the bills up in here. Like, wait a minute, what did, what did I miss? Hold up, sweetie. And I had to tell him like twice to get the off my shit. Because the first time I told him, I guess I didn't make myself clear enough. Because he came back, he returned the second time. I'm like, hold up, sir. And so after that, I never seen him no more. So, yeah. You know, but um, that was that. And then, you know, they don't, like I say, they don't, ever since then, I don't get no, I haven't had no issues. I haven't ran into nothing like that again. Nobody bothers us. Nobody comes to my door or anything or sell my porch. None of that. You know, they don't try to come in on us. You know what I'm saying? I thank God, all that all to God. I really do because it's him, his grace and mercy, protection, everything. He protects us. And that's just that. Because this neighborhood used to be off the hook when I moved out here, honey. I'm trying to tell you. The first night, the first week of us living in this apartment, I promise you, right there across the street, all you heard was squads, ambulance, all that stuff. Somebody got shot. Right there across the street. We weren't even out here a whole week. I was working on the week. Right here, my room is right here. So you can look out the back to the backyard. You can see out my back, my uh, back window, and you can see across the street because we got restaurants and stuff like that. Ooh, somebody got shot, and then from that point on, it was going down out here, all on my street. It was going down. You hear me? Down to the get down, boy. They was not playing out here, and I was like, "What the hell?" But and then they were tired. You know how they. Uh, block off the streets when something goes on. I was coming home from somewhere and I couldn't even get on, walk in my um down my street to get in my house because they had it blocked off. I'm like, what in the monkey's booty hole is going on? Kind of find out they was busting the house down the street. Multiple times they would come out here for the same house. And finally, thank you, Lord, eventually they just 
got him out of here. They got him out of here. They got him out here. Thank the Lord, because that's where it was going down at. At this, it was a house down, a couple houses down from me. It was going down. And uh, so I'm like, you know, other than that, I ain't really been having no issues with anybody out here, you know. Nobody bothers me. Nobody mess with my mess with my girls, you know, when they go to work. My my daughters, they go to work, they come home, they ain't never came here and said somebody such and such try to, you know, harass them or mess with them or anything like that. Not nothing, nothing, nothing. I mean, I will say there is one guy that um lived down the street. He is infatuated with my daughter. Um, he's infatuated with her. Okay, when I say he's infatuated, my daughter do not trust me. My daughter do not has never shown this man any type, any kind of attention at all. Nothing. Nothing. Zilch. Zero. I don't know. I don't know. It's it, down there they he on something. They all doing something. We know. They on say it's the drugs. You know what I'm saying? But he's never tried to um, harass, he's never, like, touched her inappropriately or try to harass her or anything like that or, you know, he's never done anything to her. All he do is ask, he always ask about her every time he see me on the porch. He'll be like, what? I'm like, <laughs> he's always asking for her. Every damn time he always asking for her. Always. You know? So, I thought it was kind of funny. He's kind of cute, but my daughter didn't. He's older. He's really older. An older man. He's a really, really older man. He's real old. He's older than me. I'm 51, so you know. But, um, and I look at him all the time, and I'm like, I always say to myself, man, if he wasn't on drugs, he would be so handsome. I would even talk to him, you know? Like, if he wasn't on drugs or anything, I would really talk to him. It's a lot of them that live on my street that's on drugs that i know if they weren't they would be so handsome and i'd be like mm hmm you know what i'm saying because they be trying to talk to me i just don't mm -mm, i ain't indulging in that baby i don't do that i don't do stuff like that i mean i do want a man i do want a man but i ain't desperate for one okay i'm not finna take somebody you out there popping and doing things you know drugs and all that if you ain't finna come up in my house with that, because I don't do it. The only thing I do is smoke weed. I'm just going to be real. That's all I do. I smoke weed. Blacks. I smoke blacks and I smoke weed. That's 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 the only drug activity I do. Period. I don't do nothing else. So, I'm not finna be with nobody who does. So, anyways. um, Yeah. But uh, the neighborhood, like I say, but it, it, again, it is dirty out here. It's dirty. You know. That's why I be trying to keep my house together. So that way, you know what I'm saying? When you walk in my house, you can't even tell we living in, first of all, Section 8 house or the hood. Can't tell where you at when you walk in my house, honey. I'm just going to be honest with y'all. My house, I got my house. I mean, I didn't turn this place into a home, honey. A house into a home. That's what your girl did, okay? Yes, and I'm still doing my thing, okay? Because when you walk in my house, I don't want you to be knowing you where you at. You know what I'm saying? As far as the neighborhood go, okay? I'm just, I'm just being real. So, yeah. Mm hmm But other than that, it's a home. Where we could have been in a worse situation. We could have been homeless. Ain't nobody trying to be living with nobody. Because at the time of COVID, the place I was living at, I had to, I moved, I, I had to move out of there. And so, this was, like, the only thing that was pretty much available, you know, so I took it. You know, I'd rather have done this than to be staying and living with my family member or a family member, whatever, or in a shelter. You know, I'm not, but what I look like living it, mm-mm. I couldn't do it, mm-mm, mm-mm. Anyhow, that's why I'm keeping my house keeping on top of my house and uh, granted it is an old house it is but i'm making it look like i'm putting my own little touches to it and it looks really nice it looks really nice and again if you know me if you don't know me if you're new here i am a diva on a budget even with my clothes 
my in my house. So I don't spend a lot on everything in my house. I didn't haven't spent a lot on. I'm, thr I'm a thrifter and I go to free stores and I do. If people got stuff they want to get me, I'll take it if it's you know in good condition and all that. I'll take it. Got some of my stuff I buy. You know I do splurge and I do spend money on, but a lot I'm I'm a budget. I'm a budgeter. I know the budget. So, anyways, that's that, though. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all, folks. But uh, I'm going to get off of here um, and move on to something else. Um, nobody's here, like I say, so I'm probably just going to watch some movies, throw this back on my head, and um, lay down. Um, that's it. Uh -uh. But yeah, so I'm gonna do that, and uh, yeah, y'all, I'm gonna do a um. Now let me not talk too quick, but I I got some ideas, I got some plans. Okay, I don't want to talk too quick. <laughs> no, I do not want to talk too quick. So let me finish watching TV. I'm gonna watch a movie rather. And um, uh, today for dinner is leftovers. Spaghetti. Uh -huh. I'm not cooking today. Nope. Y'all seen my spaghetti video? I'm not cooking today. Hell no. I like making meals that stretch at least two to three days. That's as long as I... That, that would be as... That is my limit for leftovers. Three days. After three days... That's it. It's going to the garbage. Okay? Even spaghetti. I don't keep spaghetti after three days. No. People be like, you can freeze it. I know, but mm -mm. no. Nah. But I've never had to throw away anything, so that's a good thing. I'm just saying, if it came around to that, I would never, you know, not... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Maybe four depending on how much is left you know maybe but my my spaghetti tends to go if not same day the second day for sure it's gone never went past three days they be tearing my spaghetti up listen your girl know how to make spaghetti on top of the stove and in the stove i like to bake it too so i love baked spaghetti mm -hmm. so i'm just saying like eh, eh. Uh, uh. You girl know what she do. I got that after my daddy. Rest in peace. That skill came from my daughter. I know how to cook. Surprise. And this ain't from no man, honey. I put this ring here, but it surprised me. A man would love to be put one on here. He would love it, but I don't. I'm cool. I mean, I want me a good man. I don't just want any man. I want a good man. I want a good man. I want a man that's going to add on not take away. You know what I mean? I want a man that's going to add on and not take away. That's what I need. And that's what I want. And that's what I'm asking God for. I want a husband. I'll be 52, y'all, in December. And I'm still single. I'm tired of having a friend. I'm tired of that. You know, just somebody who just on that. Just friends. That's it. Friends with benefits. Ha! Huh? Ugh! <laughs> Granted, I love my... Mm, mm, mm. But I'm good, bro. Damn, that's all you got to offer me? Put a ring on it. You know, damn. That way you can have me all the time. I'm stopping. <laughs> but yeah, let me go, y'all. Let me go. I'll be back tonight when the kids get off. I'll get, get home from school. I'll be back. Okay. All right. Talk to y'all later. Hey, oh, I'm, where is my head at? Ow, y'all. Y'all got to get on auntie. Get on TT. Get on TT. Yes. Um, Comment. Rate. Subscribe. Come on. And share. Turn on your post notification so that way you could get each and every video that I upload on here. 
And again, y'all, I am going to learn how to edit. So just be patient with me because I don't know how to do that. I just don't. But my granddaughter's coming over. I forgot. Yeah, I did tell y'all that. That she's coming over to show me how to edit. Hoo-wee! I can't wait, y'all. Because these videos I be putting up, they be cool. But some things y'all just don't have to. I don't want to just air on here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want that. I don't. But anyways. So let me go. And, of course, my subbies, all of y'all, new and old. Mm, 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 mm. I love y'all. Keep it coming. Help me reach that goal, y'all. I would like to reach my goal by... I'm just putting it out there. Let's see. This is September. By my birthday or before. My birthday is in December. So, that's three months. So hopefully in two to three months, I will have reached my goal and even over my goal of 1,000 subbies, okay? Y'all help me get there. Come on, help me get there. I think we got it because we be swagging over here. Our swag is tight. It's tight. It's tight, but it's right. Deuce.